tutorial by Learn Fast Studios. Now let us see the graphical representation of the single linker list. The basic building of the single linker list is a node. In each node, we have the two portions. One is a data portion, second one is a link to the next portion. Let us assume our node is allocated at the location 250. If we are having one more node at 300 in the first node's next portion, we are holding the address of the second node. As per the implementation of the node, the last nodes next may be stored with either none or null. Let us assume these are the two nodes in the single link list for this example. Head is a pointer that holds the address of the first node. In this particular link list, the first node is residing at 250, hence head contains the value 250. Similarly, we are also having one more navigative pointer, which is nothing but the tile point. Tile pointer holds the last node address. In this link list, we are having two nodes. The second node is the last node. It's stored at the location 300. Hence, the tile pointer holds the value 300. Let us take this example. In this example, we are having one link list with two nodes. The first node is residing at the address 250. Second node is residing at the address 300. And this is also the last node. In order to differentiate the last node from others, the last node's next does not contain any value. It need not to be none always, it depends on the programming language which we are using to implement the link list. Since in this tutorial video, I am talking about the Python implementation for the link list, hence I am using the notation as none. Since the none in Python represents the null value. Head is a pointer that holds the address of the first node, hence we store the value 250 here. If at all, if we want to insert the new node in the beginning, head should point to the new node and the new node should point to the first node. These are the two steps. Now let us try to see the order of the execution of this particular program insert begin. Whenever we make a call insert begin with some data value, then it is going to call that function first. A new node at new memory location. It need not to be 220 always, but for the demonstration purpose, I am considering it to be at 220. And now, this new node contains the two portions. First portion is the data portion. Second portion is the link portion. As we already seen the implementation code for the new node, whatever the data portion that we supply here will be assigned to the new node. After assigning the 25 to the new node's data, now the another thing that we need to do you need to assign the default value for the new nodes next. After creating this new node, we need to verify whether the list is empty or not. If the list is empty, directly we make sure that head holds the value 220. Hence, we will be having only one node in the linker list. But in this given case, the head is already holding some other value 250 that means this list is not empty hence we will go to the else part once we raise the else part then first step that we need to do is whatever the value that 
head is having that value has to be copied to the new nodes next by means of this step we are making sure that new node from the new node we can reach to the first node the next step is we need to store the address of the new node to the head if we make the address of the new node to the head then it is going to store the value 220 in the head that means we are getting the reference from head to the new node like this that is how we are able to fix the new node in the beginning that's it for this session let us see how we can perform other operations in the rest of the tutorials. Thank you.